Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's uh, video. We're going to have a look at me, well, for the 10 to 14 days. That went you up, didn't it? But today's, uh, we're going to have a look at whether well, it's 10 to 14 days for today's uh, video. So day 10 will take us to the 3rd of uh, May, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with it. So it's your best. And he said, oh, so cool. Maybe I'm trying to cover weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Guess us into second half May, I should get on that for you. In a moment, just say that first, a video today is our 6 7 UK weather forecast. And we've also released a uh, video so European outlook as well. Uh, check out those two bits if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. The gas weather things. Right, let's start off CT. Section temperature has ticked down a little bit more. We're now sitting at 10.1. That's 2.2 degrees above 61 to 90 to 90. Average rate for visual to yesterday to the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, to the 22nd of April. So still in the 10s, maybe we'll go sub-10 when this updates tomorrow. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, break live is the 30-year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off below average at the moment. We're going to stay that way pretty much the rest of April. But by the turn of the month, we're back closer to normal. And for the first week of May... Uh, we're possibly looking at going slightly above average then. There are one or two quite warm outlier members, notably that one. Uh, they are outliers, but there's a bit of a warming trend there through the first week of May. So it's chilly weather that we've had the past few days and going to have for a few more days. That's on its way out by the time we get through to the beginning of May. And precipitation-wise, we see quite a bit of dry weather for the next two or three days. Where there are showers around in the east, a little bit more widespread than was expected. Actually, for recent counties today, <laughs> um, I've been caught out a little bit with that. Uh, as we get through the weekend, we've got some quite wet weather uh, being predicted then, so it could be a bit of a weekend washout, and uh, more rainfall spikes as we go through the first week of May. So it looks like, although things will be warming up a little bit, it will probably stay unsettled through the first week of May. Temperature anomaly is from the 23rd of April to 1st May, coming out uh, above below average, a cooler than average week to come across most parts of Europe included. And precipitation anomaly is from the 23rd of April to 1st May, May coming out average, a little bit on the wetter than average side. Latest wind from that from Earth, Nordschool.net shows that uh, we're drawing down a chilly northerly wind today. And it's just normally that's producing those showers. i say a little bit more widespread than expected across eastern regions. Right, let's start going through chart data then. So this is our latest UK bet Euro run. It's looking for uh, midday on uh, midnight on Friday, I should say, with uh, a trough of low pressure sitting over the country. Trying to dip your jet, so on the cool side of the jet. And under a trough, looks like it'll be cool and showery. Then into the weekend, you've got to watch out for this area of low pressure to the south. That could bring some very wet weather into southern parts of the country in particular uh, through the weekend. How far north that low gets, still a bit uncertain. But it does look as though we'll start to drag up some warmer air out. So not only wet, but also potentially turning a bit warmer over the weekend. That's the setup at the end of the UK Met Euro Run. Guess it's to midnight next Tuesday. With low pressure to the west of Ireland, drawing up a southerly wind. So, again, quite mild, relatively warm, but still looking unsettled. I can't, again, looks rather showery for Friday, and then into the weekend. This low pushing up uh, from the south, Saturday into Sunday. That brings some very wet weather northwards with it. And we end up with Icon with low pressure just to the west of Ireland. Quite a deep low as well. So, warm and wet as we get through to uh, the 30th of April. There, the KMA. Looks like this, again, rather showery and low pressure pushing up from the south over the weekend. Could bring some very wet weather to southern regions, lasting to the beginning of next week as well. And then another low coming through uh, towards the last stages of next week as well. So that's all looking rather cool and uns <laughs> unsettled. And the KMA keeps it very unsettled, actually, up to the 5th of May. Oh, dear. <laughs> very, very, very unsettled. And pretty cool KMA run there. Goodness gracious me, low pressure keeps on coming, doesn't it? Right, so our GFS is looking. Uh, any improvement with that? Let's have a look. So low pressure coming up from the south into the weekend, threatening the weekend washout, potentially. Um, into uh, uh, next week, we keep low pressure close to the country. So 
up to the middle of next week stays, <clears throat> excuse me, unsettled. But by daytime, we are showing signs of a little bit of a ridge starting to get going. So a little bit of a ridge there around, uh, around day 10 and 11. Doesn't last long. Low pressure then comes back in from the Atlantic. As we get to the end of the GFS midnight run, the setup is high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, a trash to the west. It could be a little bit drier and should be warmer for the south, but still rather unsettled in the north. It's our GFS 6 said looking in comparison. Again, up comes this low pressure for the weekend. That's bringing lots of rain with it into the beginning of next week. Again, staying unsettled, low pressure anchored and rooted more or less over top of the country for other bouts of rain to come next week. As we get to day 10, the top of low pressure shifting southwards. This is 3rd of May, by the way. Top of low pressure shifting shifting southwards. High pressure to the north and west, and winds coming in from the north or a northeasterly direct, so quite cool and showery. Um, and, <laughs> well, we get to the 5th of May, but next low is coming. All you do really is laugh at this now, isn't it? It is getting laughable how long this uh, unsettled weather is going on for. And even like, at the moment, we thought with the high pressure we would have a bit of a break. But even now, you know, where I am anyway, the towers and for eastern regions, it is, it is more showering, as I say, than we expected. So, just can't seem to get away from the rain at the moment, can we? Um, anyway, I'm off on a tangent. Sorry, sorry about that. So we get through Tuesday, the 7th of May. Um, and we're still unsettled. Low pressure in the North Sea. High pressure bridging out to West. Winds in from the North. So cool, showery weather continuing really to the end of the GFS 6 Zeb run. Uh, more unsettled, actually, probably, than the midnight run was. This is how the GEM is looking. Again, this low pressure is coming up from the South at the weekend. Could be a weekend washout with that low. And then into next week, low pressure heading in from the Atlantic, bringing further bouts of rain. The setup with the gem uh, to day 10 is unsettled under this trough of low pressure, rich in the Atlantic. So, a bit of northern blocking. I mean, it just, <laughs> it just looks pretty grim. Um, and then the ECM uh, looks like that. So, a trough of low pressure uh, for Friday, then this low coming up from the south. Over the weekend, a very unsettled weekend, likely into next week. Low pressure sort of to our west southwest, so probably throwing up further bouts of rain from the southwest. Maybe a little bit less, uh, less low pressure. Um, is that, is that um, uh, grammatically correct? A little bit less low pressure. Um, I don't know, that doesn't sound right, but you get what I mean. Perhaps not quite as unsettled as most of the model output with the ECM at around day 9, 10, but still really low pressure is in the ascendancy. And this is the precipitation forecast based on that. ECM run from Tibetshow.com. Over the showery weather to come over the next few days. And then, of course, we've got this rain pushing up from the south at the end of the week. And look at all of this rain piling up. From Friday into Saturday. Goodness gracious, weekend washout is possible. Um, uh, Saturday to Sunday, I should say. Very, very unsettled. And further showery bursts then continuing into next week. Remember, other models are even more unsettled than this, actually. The East End, perhaps, you know, it's still showery. There's still rain and whatnot. But the East End may be a little bit less unsettled compared to a lot of the model apples. So it might even be more unsettled than that. Um, next week. A big summary on the table within the ECM ensemble today, a four day term of the Icelandic Metops gets us to the 3rd of May. 22 members of the ECM ensemble with a ridge from the Atlantic into Northern Europe. So let's try to sell things down a little bit. That includes the control room. We've got 19 with low pressure just to our south and southwest. So that's keeping the unsettled weather going. That to include the operation run. And then we've got 10 with a Scandinavian high and a trough of low pressure close to the UK. That's probably going to be quite warm, um, but will be rather showery. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 8th of May. 16 members of the ECM on samples with deep low pressure over and to the east of the country. Winds in from the north, northeast, cool and showery. We've got uh, another 16 with high pressure just to the southwest. So, both parts trying to settle down a little bit, but still quite cool. A little bit on the showery side of that as well. 12 with high pressure over and just to the west of the country. And 7 with low pressure over the country. So, a bit of a mixed bag. Um, but I think the suggestion is probably still there to keep things rather showery at the very least um, into the beginning of May. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height and orange breakdown 
Which week period is the first week period takes us from 23rd, 29th of April. The next week will be unsettled with low pressure to the south and the east, high pressure out to the west. And it will be cool as well with winds coming in from the north or a northeasterly direction. Week two is going to be the 30th of April to the 6th of May with low pressure over the country. It's unsettled again. Week three <laughs> shows a change actually. It's the 7th to the 13th of May with a ridge of high pressure. Building from south to north through Western Europe, mainly dry and quite warm with that. And week four, round it all off, it's the 14th to 20th of May. High pressure towards Iceland and winds coming in from an easterly direction. So this is a suggestion of more of high pressure as we push on further into May. But uh, the next week or so, anyway, looks pretty unsettled. And that does last into the beginning of uh, May before high pressure bed finally starts to settle things down. But we'll see if that verifies. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you check one more Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gaz Weather. This we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I'll just tell you what's happening on the channel tomorrow, 6 a.m. UK Weather Forecast, and there'll be a 10 to 14 there, as always. So please keep checking back for more. But for uh, this one, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and bye for now.